Today, I'm going to tell you about an exciting innovation that we used for our bookstore to make sure that we stayed on track as far as the amount of production that we want. And that's called an Andon book. A lot of times in a manufacturing flow, you have particular workstations that have to get a certain amount of work done. And many times when the work is completed, the a barcode is usually scanned saying that that work has been done, it's been inspected, it's been whatever, so that the computer knows the progress of all of the processes in the factory. And then there's these large monitors throughout the factory that tell what the progress has been. And you really want to change the board to green. So this is what our and on board for the bookstore business looked like. So what you see then is um, you see some yellow on today. Yellow means that we're not quite to the goal. Uh, yellow on today and 24 hours. And the goal for that period of time is 44. Now 44 is the target. And the target shows that we need to do 15 more. Uh, 15 more lots created in order to make uh, make it to the next goal level. So as you can see, as you go down the seven days, we're almost on our goal for seven days for lots created and lots photoed. And we already have hit our goal for lots uploaded. So you can see from a big distance that this is very, very visible. And what we did is we just put one of our larger monitors up where everybody could see it that was working and they could see exactly what their progress was each day. So now notice the 30 day one at the bottom. We're a little behind schedule. We probably did did a couple more uh, a couple extra days of shopping during that 30 day period. And because we weren't in the uh, in the warehouse actually processing books during that time and instead buying more books, we probably fell a little bit behind. So you see that it's still red and it, you see the targets for both yellow and green. Um, there to tell us what, what we have to do in order to get to that next level to change it to the next color. So very quickly, all of our employees and all of our, all the people involved with, with processing the books could readily see where they were at. Now, how did I accomplish this? Well, there's a lot of different little components, not all that complicated, but there's little components along the way that actually put things together. This particular form and queries, I set off separate so that it could just tap into the data and pull the data into this database and not encumber the work that was going on in the other database. Now, what I did here was I queried the database. And so you see all of these queries. And so all of these queries are querying for an individual cell here. And then the individual cells were put into this query where I compiled all the data into individual fields. And this one query feeds all of the data on that one form. But the query, of course, is pulling from all the other queries and it's doing it every 30 seconds. Now, how did I get it to do it every 30 seconds? One of the properties on the event tab for the form itself now I've highlighted the form button here so that it's getting the whole form. And on the form, I have this event procedure kicking off every 30,000 milliseconds, which is every 30 seconds. Now this event procedure looks like this. And all this one does is this one calculates whether or not I need the, the next goal button on the screen. It, tell, it goes through here one at a time for all of the fields on the and on board and says if today lots made is less than or equal to the 30 day count of lots made divided by 2143 which is the average number of days in a 30 day month then we're going to make it visible so if it's if it's red it'll make the yellow button visible okay the next line is if it's if it's yellow, it'll make the green button visible. So and then I go through each of the fields two by two, each of the fields down here. And that tells me whether I need that other next step or next goal button visible on the form. So that makes them visible or invisible. Now, the changing of color here to make it red or yellow or green. 
That I did in the format up here, and I did the conditional formatting. The conditional formatting, it was easy to put in a quick formula that says if the value here is less than a certain amount, then make it green, or greater than a certain amount, make it green. If it's greater than that amount, make it yellow. If it's between, if it's less than an amount, make it red. This one had to be a between statement, between statement, between yellow and green, red and green. So the expression there allowed me to change based on the conditional format of the, the cell, I could then tell whether the background of that cell is gonna be yellow or red or green. So that's all the components. Uh, as you can see, it's really not all that simple. You have to know your data, you have to know how to query it, you have to know how to assemble it. Once you've assembled it, it's a matter of putting the colors and the cells on the board. Now, as happens with all of these kind of projects, let me put this back into uh, form view here, you know. W one thing that happens with pretty much all and on boards is that eventually somebody comes down and say, comes around and says, oh, ca can't you just add this? Or can't you add that? And of course the IT department says, oh, we'd love to do that because we love to service our people. These lines of extra data down here were such a thing, the potential number of lots to create. In other words, of the books that were in the database, how many authors do we have that have at least four different books? In other words, how many can we make uh, out of those? So we have 10 potential lots. We need 15 more in order to get to the lots created today. That's probably why we stopped at 29 because we had to go collect those and hadn't got to that point. Uh, the work in process count. In other words, there's a number of the books that we had that were online ready to go. The unique ISBNs we had were 4,500, so forth and so on. Extra bits of data that were helpful for ma the management type people to see. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Please hit the like button if you did like it. And uh, please subscribe to the channel so we can grow this and get this information out to even more people. And thanks. Hope to see you again.